everyone once again welcome back to Dr. Mommy B. Today it's a throwback vlog. Few months back we decided to change our flat. And that time we were really busy and we were not having any off days. Without off day shifting is very hectic. And when we get one we decided to change immediately. This home is very special to us because we came here with uh, Nora when she was just 60 days old. So this home is filled with memories of Nora. Not only memories, the walls are filled with her drawings and sketches. <laughs> As Nilo is in the school, the little one is my only helper. So the, when the movers comes, when we arrange everything properly, it will be very easy. And it will also help us to arrange everything back. After having experience of moving many times, what I understood is that we have to organize everything into categories very nicely before shifting. Books, electronics, household, kitchen supplies and other charges has to be categorized and I use this travel organizers and other bags so that it has it doesn't need any labeling and those doesn't have a label you should make sure to label them correctly so that when you reach there it's easy to rearrange. As I told you many things are happening together we have applied for a vacation and it was not sanctioned and finally when it got sanctioned we are shifting and at the same time we will miss Naila's birthday. So she is having a happy package from India. Guess who this is from her grandparents and my sister. On sideways, I'm also packing for the vacation and traveling with kids. <sighs> this is my first uh, international trip with Nora as I have traveled many times with Nyla. So I have uh, stocked all the essential eatables because uh, that's the only thing we will be struggling when we are going abroad. Mostly I have collected all the ready to eat food and also some cakes, biscuits uh, and some spreads so that it will be easy to feed them. Maybe you can guess my destination after seeing <laughs> me packing. So I am uh, making sure to pack everything nicely, the hats, the suits, the swimming dresses. Finally, I have managed to pack every essential things, uh, keeping in mind the criteria of the luggage because traveling with kids means lot of luggage. Since we were traveling the next day, everyone will miss Nyla's birthday, so uh, everyone was gifting her all the gifts. By seeing her face, you can guess she liked the makeup set the most and uh, the worst is my books because I gifted her an encyclopedia and an activity book because I was sure that we were, we, it will be in use when we are traveling. It was an evening flight and kids are somehow manageable with these activity books and snacks. I don't know if there is someone who hate uh, food in planes as uh, I'm one of them and uh, this was really a savior for me and I would really recommend uh, this product because it tasted very nice. As Mr. S was taking care of the kids, I was having a relaxed dinner. Thank God, since they are very busy with their activity book, I am going to read a little bit. We reached our destination late night and it's almost time for bed. And the next day we are in our destination. Uh, I think you are not able to guess now. 
okay i will let you know this is maldives and we are in mali the town this is like very crowded place the town it's like a limited space and they have a township which is very crowded so from here we have to take a boat a speed boat to reach the original maldives i mean the uh, place which we see in photos like the beaches and everything actually it's not so recommendable to have a maldive trip with the kids especially we are traveling on speedboat and we are also doing some water sport items but we should be really careful and also we should take all the safety precautions too This is Mafushi. This is one of the beautiful island in Maldives and we stayed here for 3 to 4 days. It was an amazing experience here. The whole island is just 2 to 3 kilometers but it is like a well a well planned island. It has school, it has playgrounds, it has community halls, prisons. I mean the major portion of this island is made of prison, uh, Mafushi prison and it also have some plant which will segregate the waste and also it has moss. So as I told you it's like a well planned and uh, people are very happy in this island also surprised to see since the in Maldives the Muslim community is uh, in major population they have divided uh, the island to this uh, non bikini area and bikini area so that it will uh, protect the privacy and also respect their culture we spend the first few days with the kids on the beaches so that they can enjoy the most the nightlife is a very different experience in this island because everyone will be back from beaches and all the activities and you can see all of them crowded in the restaurants enjoying music and uh, talking with local people. Out of the tropical fruits, we saw some of these. These are called pine fruits and we were seeing it for the first time. So decided to have a try. So they crush it into juice and it's very hard. I expected it to be very soft, but it was very hard with lot of fibers. So the, we waited to have the juice and the juice was um, somewhat like a lemon grass flavor. And at the same time, it tasted like mango and pineapple after a long day on beach we are for dinner and this is a very famous restaurant here mr octopus as you guessed the main speciality here is octopus and we have not yet tried octopus so we decided to So they serve octopus in grams here and we just wanted to try it was okay but I felt it a little bit chewy and had the same taste of squid also at the same time and they serve it with butter rice or you can also choose bread so we choose rice because kids will also love rice and everywhere here you will get all type of food so like food is not a matter like you can get uh, any kind of uh, cuisine here. The next day we are uh, on our breakfast table and this is uh, roti uh, i mean roshi they call it roshi it's same like uh, roti but it is made of, of uh, maida and it's very soft and tasty and uh, all other things are almost similar to here uh, like uh, same breakfast uh, platter 
the next day we started early because kids are so excited for the beach again and they are also uh, uh, they are also recognizing the color differences the crystal uh, teal color here compared to the beach in Dubai. Baby, baby. In front of every hotel, you can see this jar uh, of water and a spoon uh, so that we can wash our legs and come in so that it will be clean and it's uh, like a kind of new thing to me. Searching for local food was very challenging because everyone preferred to have their own cuisines. This is a um, uh, street snapper and also the roshi. This is kotu roshi. It's like a noodles form of uh, roshi. Uh, stay tuned for my next vlog uh, for the activities which we have done in Maldives and Mofushi and also we are visiting one more island. Till then take care and bye bye.